Hey guys, what's up? I'm bringing you another video here today, and this is just going to be a simple tutorial on how to install NCAA Football 14 with the College Football um, Revamp mod. So uh, we're going to be downloading a emulator for the PS3. So just go onto this website right here, click download, and then install it for whatever system you have. Um, this tutorial will be for a Windows computer, so click download right here. And then once it's downloaded, you'll get a file like this. You simply just have to open it up and then drag out all this contents to a folder, or you can simply just right click it and then click extract to that folder. And as you can see, I did it to this one. And this is the emulator right here. Um, let me go ahead and delete that because I'm going to start this over to show you exactly what you need to do. So when you extract those files, they go into this folder. Um, the next thing you have to do is install the runtime if you're on Windows as well. Um, you probably don't need to do this, but it's probably safe to do it anyways. Um, just go ahead and click on that and it will download uh, Visual Studio Runtime for C++. Um, and it's pretty self-explanatory. I'll, I'll actually just run it here because I've already... I already have it. Uh, or let me open file location or run as. So it would look like this. If you don't have it, it'll say install. If you already have it, it'll say repair or uninstall. If it looks like this, you don't have to do anything. So you should be good to go on that. The next step would to be to download um, basically the NCAA game. I have an ISO right here. Um, you will have to extract the contents of this ISO. So in Windows now, if you're on Windows 11, you can just navigate through it and then grab these files. But if you are on something that's earlier than that, you're going to have to... Um, download like a WinRAR or 7-zip application. But, uh, so I'm going to open this. Or actually, I'm going to... So the, the thing that you'll need is multiple windows open. It'll make things a lot easier. So I have another window here for this folder. So I'm going to go into here and go to HDD0 and then Disk. Once you're in here, there will be no folder here, but you got to name the folder this uh, text right here. And this is where you're going to be putting those files. So if you go into this ISO file, you drag and drop all these, copy, and then put them in there. I'm not going to do that because I've already did it. So now that you have the game in the right directory, with the right name of the folder, now you can go into the actual emulator, boot it up. Um, it might give you a new version. Uh, I'm not going to install it right now, just for keeping the, this video as short as possible. I've already installed this, but let me... Um, like when you first boot it, <clears throat> it will show like the regular NCAA logo. But from here, just keep this emulator open. Go back to where you downloaded the actual package file, which you can find from here. So if you go to Easy Installer, scroll down. For this tutorial, it's strictly for PC emulating it on the PS3. So I go to PC. It is a disk copy. I want to use the ESPN score bu uh, board bug. And then I want to use the Xbox controller. Um, either way, you can use whatever one, but that last section where you're choosing the buttons for the controller, that's what they will appear in the game. And then this kind of explains basically what I already went over. You have to go into this folder in the emulator and then name it this and then place the game files there. But this is what you're going to want. This is going to take you to Mediafire, 
and this will be where you would download the actual game that is packed with the college football revamped mod. Um, it is a package file, so once you do get it um, downloaded, which I have mine right here, you just have to simply drag it and drop it onto this. It'll ask you, do you want to install and replace, basically updating the package that's already for this game. And depending on your system, it might take anywhere from 45 seconds to a minute. Um, if it's on like slower computers, it might take maybe five minutes, but I have a beast computer, so it only takes like maybe less than a minute. But this basically extracts that package and applies it on top of the NCAA 14 football game. So it's really just a waiting game for this. So once this is done, you basically boot it up. So I'll pause my recording and I'll come back when it's done. Hey guys, I'm back. Um, it did take a few more minutes than what I told you guys it would. Um, that's probably just because I'm making a video while doing um, the stuff right here. So it's, it's no big deal. It, it will take a few minutes to install. But as you can see, it does take success. And it says successfully installed on the emulator. And if it's green text, that means it's great. Um, if it's red, then you've run into a problem. Um, if you have any problems, just leave a comment and I can try to help you out. But if it says success and it's green, you're good to go. The only thing that you need to do, because this is kind of buggy, buggy since it's in an emulator, you want to go to configuration, GPU, and then this will be on single threaded for shader modes. Um, you want to do a sync with shader interpreter um, or stadiums in the field. Um, they won't compile the shaders correctly and everything will become black. So click apply and then save. And then from here, you just have to right click and boot. And I'll show you basically that it works. Um, this is another process right here that it might take longer on other uh, machines, but mine's fairly quick. It just needs to progress through these modules and basically compile and load everything up. And like right here, it's stuck on the modules. Um, sometimes it, it does it quick and then it takes a little while like, like you see right now. Other times it's super quick and it loads right up. All right, here we go. And then when it asks you about the online mode stuff, don't attempt to log in, it won't work. Just continue with uh, viewing offline stuff. And then there we go, I'm going into the dynasty. Um, I'll just pick head coach real quick for Michigan State to show you. Sign contract. Start season.
And then here, let's uh, just load up the game to show you that it actually works. Um, looks like we're going against Western. And then when it loads up, I'll play a little bit just to show you that it works. And that's pretty much it. Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. East Lansing, Michigan at Spartan Stadium, the battleground for this college football encounter. Western Michigan is lined up for the opening kickoff. So here we go. And with that, we kick off our season. He's to the 10. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 28-yard line. Yeah, and one thing to keep note, um, if you notice, the field has no uh, yard markers or numbers. So I'm not sure if that's a new bug, but I wasn't encountering encountering that before. So just a heads up. I mean, the game's still playable, but uh, I'll see if I can figure out why that's doing that. But other than that, that's how you set up the game, install the mod, and it's playable. So hopefully you guys enjoy, and uh, see you in the next one.